Okay, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Okay, we are using the same question again. Okay, but now I'm going to show to you how to use, uh, to answer the question using the FIFO method. Okay, if you are using the FIFO methods, we are doing the same question, okay, but you are, we are using, we are doing it using the FIFO methods. Okay, uh, first, uh, you need to prepare the process account. So, prepare the process account is the same thing like uh, what we have done before. In terms of the quantity, there is no difference, okay, for the uh, uh, opening uh, WIP, that is your 600 and then plus yeah, uh, other items yeah, from your process one just now, 4,100. Put in the value, the value is 1830 and put in all the input input that you have uh, okay and then the quantity remains the same as what you have done for your uh, weighted average just now okay in terms of the quantity for your process tree the output that you have to process tree 3500 your closing WIP is 800 your normal loss that you have determined in terms of the quantity is 390 and your abnormal loss is 10 okay uh, again, you are left with the three boxes that you, you do not know. Uh, this one, the normal loss is 40 cent each. So, that gives you one, uh, five, six. Okay, the three boxes that you need to fill up. Because you have the opening WIP and closing WIP, that's why you need to prepare the statement. Okay, you need to prepare the statement of equivalent unit, cost per unit and evaluation. Okay, for your output, um, you have item previously you have item uh, that you need to transfer to process tree but if you are using the fifo methods okay for fifo methods you have you have to split your output into two okay out of that 3500 you have your o uh, 600 so 3500 minus 600 this one is your o to be completed you have 600 and the other one is called the CPDP that is the completed process during the period. Okay, completed process during you you uh, you process it and then you complete it during that particular period. Okay, so that is uh, the remaining. That is uh, three thousand five hundred minus your six hundred gives you uh, two thousand nine hundred. You how do I know three thousand five hundred? Here you have your output. You need to have three thousand five hundred, and then where does that three thousand five hundred comes from? It comes from the uh, first batch, kind of your first batch. Your first batch is actually your OE, and then the item that you produce during the period that is your CPDP. Okay, uh, the remaining will be the same. That is your closing WIP, your normal loss and abnormal loss. The difference is just in terms of the output that you need to transfer to process tree so you split into your OWIP to be completed and CB, CPDP okay first I'm going to explain to you about the OWIP to be completed so OWIP to be completed here you see that uh, you already completed let's see uh, this one for the input material it is already 100% complete so how many percent that you need to further complete this input material it's already completed 100%. So, it will be 0%. So, 0% times 600 gives you 0. Okay. And then about the material introduced. It is already 60% complete in terms of the material introduced. So, how many percent more that you need to complete with regard to material introduced? So, it will be 40%. So, 40% times 600 gives you 200 and 40. So, you do the same thing for labor and overhead. So, for labor, it is already 50% complete. So, you need to complete another 50%. So, 50% of 600 gives you 300. What about the overhead? So, your overhead is already 40% complete. So, you need to further complete another 60%. So, 60% times your 600 gives you 360 about the CPDP, it will always be 100% complete because you complete it during that particular period. You process and you complete it during that particular period. So, it, it is 100%. And the uh, for your closing WIP, you do uh, as what you have done before. So, your closing WIP based on the percentage given. So, for your closing WIP, it's just the... If it is 100% complete, 60, 50 and 40, then you just times with the 
percentage with the value, the quantity that is 800. And then you do the same, your normal loss and abnormal loss, they are all 100% complete. So the difference is just in terms of your OWIP to be completed and CPDP. Next, you total this up. Okay, and then you do for the cost. For the cost, you just have the cost incurred during the period. Cost incurred during the period, this one, 552566 uh, five, and so on. So that is the cost that you incur during the period. And then that gives you your total cost. Okay, and then for the CPU, cost per unit, you just take this figure. That is 5155 five, divided by 4100. Do all the column by column. So, if you have decimal places, then you can use three or four decimal places. And then, uh, sometimes when you transfer during the evaluation, you will have rounding differences of one plus minus one ringgit. So, you can ignore that. You can just round off the figures. And then, for this, for the third part of the statement is your evaluation. So, evaluation, you just copy whatever that you have here. You have five items here. So, you just put all the five items here under the evaluation. And then, if that item is 100% complete for all the remaining columns, then you can just take uh, the total, for example, your CPDP, you can just take the 2,900 times the total of your CPU, or you can do it column by column also can. And then, for the... Uh, uh, for the OWIP to be completed, then you have to do it column by column. The same goes with your closing WIP. So uh, after that, you can have your closing WIP 1680. Then you can transfer here to your account. The same goes to your with your abnormal loss. Then you need, you need to do adjustment for your value that you need to transfer to process 3 for your opening, uh, for your OWIP to be completed. Okay, for your... Uh, sorry, for your process tree here. So, adjustments that you need to do, if you are using the uh, FIFO method, okay, if you are using the FIFO method, you have to take the opening uh, work in progress brought down, okay, then you have to add the value for the OWIP to be completed. So, the OWIP brought down is 1830 and then OWIP to be completed from this statement is 491 and then CPDP is 8460 and then adjust for your normal loss as what you have done before. So you've got a value 11762, then 1162 will be transferred to your account. Okay, now I want to highlight the uh, the difference first between your FIFO methods and your weighted average method for the OWIP treatment. Okay, the difference is just, uh, the first one that you need to know is that I've introduced your opening uh, work in progress. For the opening uh, work in progress in the account, you put on the debit side the quantity and the total value of your OWIP. And then when you prepare the statement, in the statement, if you are using the FIFO methods, this uh, output, that means the output that you have here, you need to split into two. One is known as the OWIP to be completed. The other one is the CPDP or the completed process during period. Okay, for your OWIP to be completed, you have to uh, uh, to concern about the percentage. Okay, you look at the percentage. You, uh, from the question, question will give you the percentage that already being completed, the percentage of completion. But uh, you need to identify if, for example, the input material is, is already 100% complete. So how many percent that you need to complete to further complete that item for this particular period, okay? For example, your material introduced is already 60% complete. Then for this particular period, you have to add another 40%. So alert with the percentage of completion for to, to put here. Yeah? Okay, this one is OWIP to be completed. Okay, next for the CPDP, it will always be 100% complete because you complete it during the period. But if you are using the weighted average method, Weighted average method, you just have process tree. You do, not, you do not need to split it. Why you do not need to split it? If you can still remember that I've explained before about if you are using the FIFO methods, you remember if you are using the FIFO method, first in, first out. You are uh, If you are thinking about the first batch, so you take the first one, then you take the second batch, then you 
take out the third batch because first in let's say here when you take out 120 you will take out the first first item uh, first item that is the 100 then the second batch that is the, that comes from the 2 ringgit and 10 cent but if you are using the weighted average method regardless of which batch that you are using you just take the average value so that's what you are doing here so you are doing here uh, if you are using the the weighted average method you just uh, regardless it doesn't matter whether it, it comes from the first batch or whether it comes from the second batch you just take the whole figure as 3500 okay but if you are using the FIFO methods then it is your concern you need to know oh i need to transfer the OE first then only the cpd okay you need to split that okay next when you want um so that's why in terms of the cost the cost in terms of the cost when you want to find the average cost so you need to add the cost of the OWIP. Remember here, you, you have to find the average cost here. The average cost. So that's what you are doing here. You have to add the OWIP plus the cost incurred that you, uh, cost incurred during the period, you take the total cost, then only you divide it by the total equivalent units to, cal to, uh, to get the CPU. But for the FIFO, uh, FIFO methods, you split. Oh, this one is the first batch. This one is the second batch. So that's why uh, the cost, you do not add them together. So where does the cost being for the FIFO method? So here, that's why when you calculate the value that you need to transfer to process 3. So how many that you need to transfer to process 3? I need to transfer 3,000 units. I need, uh, sorry, 3,500 units. So out of that 3,500 units, it comes from the first batch. First batch is your OWIP. Your OWIP is 600 units. And then the second batch, so the second batch will be the 2,900 units. Okay. So that means uh, the, the first one is 3,600. Uh, uh, Next, it's your 2,900. Okay. Now, with regard to the value, what about the value for the 600? For the 600, the value that already been completed is 1830. And then, the, the, for that particular period, you, also, you incur further. You incur further cost as you want to complete that OWIP. So, further cost that you incur for that particular period is your OWIP to be completed. That is 491. So, 491 plus 1830 is just the cost for that 600. And then what about the cost for that 2900? The cost for that 2900 is the 8460. And then, as usual, you have to adjust for your normal loss. Alternatively, you can also uh, do it like you yeah, add at the cost of your normal loss here. And then why you need to deduct is kind of a revenue to you. Kind of. Uh, okay. So that's why you are, you are talking from the cost perspective. So this is your cost. This is your cost. This is another cost. This one is another cost. And suddenly you have a kind of a revenue. You can sell that uh, normal loss and you've got a scrap value. You can sell it and you get a value of 156. So that's why if you are talking from the cost perspective and suddenly you have a revenue, so that's why you have to minus it. Okay, so that your net cost is 11763. So that 11763 or 11762, the amount that you transfer here. Why do I have some differences? I said because of the rounding differences, you can ignore that. You can just round off so that you have a total, your account should be balance plus minus one ringgit is acceptable for because of the rounding okay so with that i thank you hopefully that you can understand now for your OE the two methods that you need to use